once you've recorded a few things, you can either click on the little play button on the, the left side of the camera. It looks the same as the play button on the screen. It's a square with a uh, triangle in it. If you hit that, you'll see a little triangle with a square show up on the screen, and then a big window with a bunch of thumbnails will pop up. And this is how you play files on this camera. Scrolling up and down on the left side of the LCD screen, just touch the screen, will let you scroll around. And to play a file, just touch the little thumbnail of that file, uh, give it a second to load, and it'll start playing. When you're in play mode, the screen changes again. The icons are laid out a little bit differently on the screen. The, um, the top left button, it looks like an arrow pointing to the left, um, a bent arrow pointing to the left, returns you from the video you're playing to the main list of thumbnails. Um, the volume button obviously turns the volume up and down. The button slightly below that, the, um, the two triangles with the square at the end pointing left and right, advance back and forth between recording tracks, kind of like a CD. Um, so if you have like 10 different recordings, hitting that will go to the third, the fourth, the fifth, then back if you want to go back. And then at the bottom, the buttons are the big square stop, the one to the right of that, excuse me, is um, re-rack re or rewind. rewind. Um, it'll let you go. The more you tap it, the faster it'll go. The one in the middle, the triangle pointing to the two rectangles is play or pause. Um, the one to the right of that is to fast forward. And the one to the right of that, the plus and a circle um, lets you do managerial things with that file. I would suggest not doing managerial things with the file, like deleting or anything, just so that nothing else gets corrupted. But um, if you have the need to, you can delete files and things for this. Like I was saying, I would suggest not doing that just because sometimes it'll confuse things and all that, you know, if you delete things. So I would say, you know, even if you have little tiny test records, it's not really going to take that much more space on the drive. So I just leave them on there um, and let them on there for, you know, and then I'll delete them when I get it back. 